Okay. So with Gaussian Jordan elimination, our goal is to get a matrix in the end that looks like the identity matrix here. And then there'll be numbers x, y, and z, or a, b, c, or whatever you want. There'll be a number here, a number here, and a number there. That's our goal. Right now, we have 4115, 2, 1, 2, and 10, and 1, 2, 1, 2. Every time you write out something, you should just do a double check that you didn't change numbers along the way. Now, as far as order goes, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to get this first. So you might want to put that as a note off to the side. We're going to want to get zeros in that first column first and a 1 at the top. A 1 at the top is nice because then you can always multiply it and add it to another row to get those zeros. So as a first step, can you see that I could get a 1 at the top if I just switched row 1 and row 3? I'm going to show that just by doing that, I'm going to take row 1 and switch it with row 3. Now row 1 becomes 1, negative 2, negative 1, and 2. Row 2 didn't change. That's still 2, negative 1. 2 and 10. And row 3 is now 4115. Now, I want zeros in this spot here and this spot here. Can you see that I could get a, a 0 in row 2 by taking row 1, multiply it by negative 2, and add it to row 2? And can you see that I could get a 0 here for the 4 if I took row 1, multiplied it by a negative 4, and added it to row 4? Sometimes to save space, you might do both of those at the same time. So I'm going to say row 2 is going to equal row 2 plus negative 2 times row 1. And row 3 I'm going to change at the same time by making it row 3 plus row 1 times a negative 4. Row 1 isn't changing, so 1, negative 2, negative 1, 2. But now I'm going to take row 2 and add it to negative 2 times row 1 plus row 2. That will get me a 0 here. This will give me 4 plus a negative 1 will give me 3 here. And 2 plus 2 will give me 4 there. Negative 4 plus 10 will give me 6. I take row 3 and add negative 4 row 1s to row 3. That'll give me a 0 here. That will give me, so if I do negative 4, 4 plus 1 will be 5 here. Negative 8, oh, sorry. Oh, wait a second. Did I make a, made a mistake? Oh. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. He would have caught that. Daniel would have been all over that. And negative 4 times this negative 1 is be 4, plus 1 is 5. And negative 8 plus 5, negative 3. Trust me, you will make mental math errors. And one of these may take half an hour. 
depending on the amount of errors you make. So it's worthwhile to go slow and make sure that you've added the right things at the right times. Uh, yeah, well, chances are, chances are you'll get nasty numbers like fractions and decimals. Okay, good thing to do to check. And one thing I would do while we're practicing these, just to see where you're at, is you know you can solve this with your calculator, right? Because we've learned how to do it with the inverses. So you could solve it with your calculator and have the answers. No, this will be on a non-calculated part. But as far as practicing goes, then if we solve this on our calculator, we might find out that, oh, I don't even, looking at those numbers, I'm not even sure what the answer, what the answer may be. But let's say, oh, it's so close. Yeah, I don't know what the answer is. Maybe this has nasty answers. We should actually check. We should check to see if it has nasty answers to begin with. I'm going to show you another button on your calculator that's really helpful for figuring these out. And then we'll at least be able to check if we've made a mistake along the way so you don't write down everything and then we find out we made a mental math error right at the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to ma matrix, matrix, go, try to hit that button, there we go, go to edit and we're going to put the augmented matrix in entirely so that makes it three rows, four columns, three by four. And we're going to enter in the original matrix, which was, someone want to read this out to me? Or maybe if I go like this, I can see it. 4115, 4115. You did an excellent job. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to matrix. We're going to go to math for matrix. And hidden below all of this, REF, which stands for reduced row echelon form. And if you hit that button, REF. Reduced row echelon form. <laughs> and what did I do? I want to go to matrix A. So if you do reduced row echelon form of matrix A, it does it for you and it tells you that X is going to be 1, Y is going to be negative 2, and Z is going to be 3. Let's just do a quick check if we've made any mistakes. I'm going to store this over here for now. Bring it down. Just a little bit of mental math. If this is 3 and this is negative 2, is negative 18 plus 15 negative 3? Yes. And here, just a quick check, is 3 times negative 2 would be negative 6, plus 4 times 3 is 12, equal to 6? Yes, it is. So at this point, I know that I haven't made any mistakes. Do you see how I checked it? Does that make sense? I went over it a little bit quick. Because this is telling me that z is equal to 3, this is telling me y is equal to negative 2, and this is telling me x is equal to 1. This says 9 y's and 5 z's has to equal negative 3. 9 times 3. Or sorry, 9 times y, 9 times y, oh, yeah. negative 18, plus 5 times 3, which is 15. Does that equal negative 3? Yes, it does. So I know I haven't made a mental math error yet. So this is just for checking. But you will have to do this by hand. OK, so this is where we're at right now. Our first goal is done. We got our first column with a 1 and two zeros. The second step is actually shorter. Okay, all we're going to do is get that zero second 
Actually, we're going to do and get that a 1 right after. Because now that we've got zeros in this first column, we can use row 2 and row 3 to get a 0 right there. Can you see that if I take row 3 and do minus 3 row 2's plus row 3, then I'll get a 0 at the bottom there. So rows 1 and 2 are not going to change. And now when I do minus 3 row 2 is the case, 0 plus 0 will still be 0. And now this will be 0, so that's good. And minus 12 plus 5 is minus 7. And minus 18 minus 3 is minus 21. And it's not hard to make row 3, row 3 divided by negative 7 to get that 1. 1, 0, 0, negative 2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 0, 1, 3. What's that? This is, the, this is as short as it gets. Shorter when we did two of them in one step. Yeah, the calculator is really short. Bloop, there's your answer. Yeah, there's a way that you can debate it. As long as the longer the debate, the lower your mark is. <laughs> Let's go back to our original diagram, because we got this first, we got this second. We need a new color. Ooh, let's go purple. No, we just did purple. Ooh, fluorescent green. We're going to get these zeros third. What's that? can go down for more than a minute. Because now that we've got a 1 here, can you see if we work up, these zeros won't affect anything, and it'll be easy to get those two spaces to be zeros. I'm going to take row 1. Wow, I don't like that color. You can't see it. I'm going to take row 1 and just take row 3 and add it to row 1. And I'm going to do row 2 at the same time. I'm going to multiply row 3 by negative 4 and then add it to row 2. Only row 3 won't change. All right. Daniel will be probably watching this at home, so we'll work through this next math a little bit slower for him. OK, for row 1 here, we're going to take this 0 and add it to 1. Um, Daniel's probably running for a calculator. All right, so you'll get 1. Good job. And then you're going to take the 0 and add it to negative 2. You're still going to get negative 2. And now we'll get 1 plus negative 1 will be 0, and 3 plus 2 will be 5. For the second one, minus 4 times row 3. Well, 0 plus 0, this will still be 0. 0 plus 3 will still be 3. And now we'll get negative 4 plus 4 will be 0. 
negative 12 plus 6 will be negative 6. Final thing we're going to do is make this a 1. And then that final thing is 0. That'll be our fourth thing. It's not hard to make that a 1 now. Because all you can do is take row 2 and make it row 2 divided by 3. And finally, if you take row 2 and multiply it by 2 and add it to row 1, you can make that final thing a 0. So row 3 doesn't change. Row 2 doesn't change. But now I take row 2, multiply it by 2, and add. So this will stay a 1. This will become a 0. This stays a 0. Negative 4 plus 5 makes that a 1. x is equal to 1. y is equal to negative 2. And z is equal to 3. And that's not too bad. Right? We saved, in the end, it only was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 matrices to draw. We saved some time with the blue ones here, where we did two at once. And it's nice when you start to feel like, am I doing something wrong, to have your answer with your calculator there, so that you can just check. Here's the answer with the calculator. You can just plug it in at a moment and say, Am I on the right track? So, all right. <laughs>